Summer Challenge Number 6, Kids' Choice Research shows we gain more happiness from doing something than buying something, and like adults, children and teenagers get much of their pleasure from the planning process. Being a part of making something happen makes us value it even more. And children have their own ideas about what makes for a perfect summer day. Their choice might be fairly simple, my youngest son asked that we play mini-golf, or far more elaborate, like the plans of 17-year-old Kelly Kapira of Phoenixville, Pa. She wrote. For the past four years, our neighborhood group of friends has set aside a day for the ultimate intentional summer challenge, staying outside all day. It all started one night early in the summer of 2013. My brother, Tim, and I were out in the driveway enjoying the first of many summer nights to come, and we didn't want to go inside. One of us said to the other, wouldn't it be fun to spend a whole day outside? A few weeks later, we did it, we stayed outside from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., accompanied by some friends and neighbors here and there, and time allotted for bathroom breaks. The day, which we dubbed 11 to 11, became a tradition in our family and neighborhood. The next year's 11 to 11 was successful, with growing participation and commitment. Since our kitchen was undergoing renovations, we had a porta potty in our yard, and didn't even have to go inside to use the bathroom. The following year, however, we wanted to take it a step further. With a core group established, my brothers Tim, now 16, and Kyle, 14, along with our friends since grade school, Kimmy, 16, Gile, 16, and Matt, 15, we stayed outside from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and then slept in a tent in our backyard before going back inside at 11 the next morning. We also declared it a tech-free day, no one was allowed to look at their phones for the entire time we were outside, enjoying summer and each other's company. Last year's 11 to 11 to 11 inches featured extreme hopscotch extending all the way down our block, a water balloon fight, a trip to our local pool, backyard croquet, a scavenger hunt and a bonfire. This year we'll be going to the pool and a nearby creek to keep cool, playing glow K, croquet after dark with glow sticks on the wickets, card and board games, and classic summer games like manhunt and capping off the night with some stargazing before we get into the tent for the final 12 hours. It's a summer tradition that we all look forward to every year, and we've been planning this one for a long time to make it the best one yet. One yet.